Hey, shouts out to my boy Chin Smooth. He sent me this content. Like, hey, yeah, Stacy, bro, I think I think you and your, your your subscribers are gonna get a kick out of this one right here. Shouts out to my boy Chicks Move giving all the dope hip hop content on the daily. My dog should be in the description right down below. But <sighs> NBA great Dr. J Judas Urban says this of his daughter, his estranged daughter. He says Alexandra Stevenson was born because her mother had braces. Nigga, what? Hey, when dudes get old, bro, that filter come right the fuck off, nigga. That shit straight toxic <laughs> to your lungs. Just, oh. Anything they say, that shit come full cycle. So we're going to get into this article. This is going to be real interesting. But um, apparently he has a, a strange daughter that's kind of dope as hell. You feel me? But um, let's see what she's saying. So Judas Irvin wouldn't have fathered tennis player Alexandra Stevenson, 32, if her mother hadn't gotten braces on her teeth. <laughs> oh God. The Hall of Fame basketball player writes in his new audiobiography, Dr. J. The wholly anticipated book is supposed to be under lock and key until its official publication on Tuesday, but I found an early copy at Downtown Bookstore. This is written right here by Richard Johnson. Shouts out to you. This is from 2013, so this is a, um, a dig right here. So, um, Irvin tells how he met Samantha Stevenson, whom he describes on the page as a smart single woman, a pretty white girl, a bit of a hippie giving off a vibe of availability. Oh, okay. In 1978, when she was covering the Philadelphia 76ers for a sport magazine. So he says, um, you know, she becomes someone who helps me unwind and if I'm feeling high, strung or stressed, I can drive over and spend a relaxing evening that might even include oral sex. Urban writes, I can only remember one time that we actually had intercourse, and now it's because she has just gotten this new orthodontia to straighten her teeth <laughs> with wire and gleaming metal bristling in her mouth. Oral sex was not an option. But Urban, known for his Dante de Blasio like afro and his thunderous dunks, felt terrible in 1999 when his and Samantha's out of wedlock daughter playing in the semifinals at Wimbledon was caught in media firestorm over her famous father. I paid a terrible price for my sins, and there is some justice in that. But should Alexandra have to pay the price? What sin did she commit? That is crazy, bro. They really lived a different lifestyle back before AIDS was so crazy and so many sexually transmitted diseases running rampant like it was, like it is today. They were living loose, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, Thank you for the subscription, Mark Jardine. But um, I'm pretty sure you know people was living wild back then. That is a crazy little quick little situation right there. But um, you gotta understand, man. That groupie life is something. A lot of people don't understand how that shit go. A lot of you guys do not understand how easy it is for some men, bro. It's how easy it is, and um, it is not just superstar athletes and entertainers like people on the lower level just for a little bit of clout get this type of love and chicks would drop that neck in a sec for any little any little type of gain or any type of satisfaction just for getting with a certain type of guy like some of these chicks are just they just like that they just like that but this is wild way to just um deliver the stories tell about the conception of your daughter like this is wild but um hey man i understand it is what it is it's the truth it's the truth. Shouts out to Dr. J, one of the greats, man. I'm going to go and wrap this video up. Once again, shouts out to Chase Smooth for sending this to me so I can check this out with you guys, man. Um, Listen, I'm listen. it's your boy Stacy, and I fuck with you. Why is that? Because you, you fucks with me. Hey, I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. If you have not seen it already, I did a dope-ass mini documentary on Tupac Shakur. In his transition from being what you guys may call a blue pill guy or a more sensitive and soft-spoken guy when it comes to the lady to a what you guys may call a red pill guy or a person that understands female nature and ain't taking no bullshit for no B's and H's, you feel me? You need to click right up here and watch that right there and then now... Now, I'm out. Yay.